My name is Laura Kaffner. I can play 16 to 26 year olds and I'm with Susie Steen Management. Didn't expect to see you here. Well, I want to sign out some of you then. Well, where's mom and dad? They had to go to the bank this morning, so they'll just be on the I hope they're doing okay. Once I get my tax return approved, I can get them to stop stressing for a few months. Can you come hold Maddie for me? Thanks. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> just keep a firm hold on her. You're doing fine. How's Maddie doing? She's getting better. I'm just glad I don't have to keep her in an incubator. But I have to keep everything in the house sterilised because poor little thing's vulnerable to infection, aren't you, little miss? <laughs> well, how about you? How are your studies going? Well, I have a change of thought lately. What? I was thinking of dropping out. Dropping out? You're fucking kidding me, right? Why don't you say that in front of mum and dad and see how hard shit hits the fan? Yeah, a future that has your own name headlining your own fucking obituary. It's not what you it's just a mosquito bite out there. A mosquito bite? A mosquito bite in the middle of August? Come on, Louise, just give it to me straight, right now. Okay, you, you know what? I don't want this life. Mum and dad have ruined their whole lives and something That may be right, but mum and dad have always been optimistic. You should too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry out there isn't going to make you feel comfortable. Look, Mum and Dad have been working hard to repay their debt with the bank. The, work, the harder they work, you know, the closer they get to being more financially secure. How about you go ahead and live life in the slow way all you want? My mind is in there. But don't worry, you know, living in a world of limousines, high jets, and luxury yachts, I'll remember to send you the postcards when I do how long. Dropping, dropping out? You're fucking kidding me, right? Why don't you tell that to mum and dad and see how hard shit hits the fan? They don't have to know I got my own place in the future that doesn't involve wearing white, ugly shoes and stuff. Yeah, a future that has your name headlining your own fucking obituary. It's not what you think. It's just a mosquito bite out there. A mosquito bite? In the middle of August? Come on, Louise, just, just give it to me straight, right now. Look, that may be right, okay, but mum and dad have always been optimistic. You should too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry isn't going to make you feel comfortable. Look, mum and dad have worked hard towards settling their debt with the bank, and the harder they work, the closer they become to being financially secure. Yep, yep. Uh, Natalie Vazette, my age range about 20 to 30, and I haven't got an agent. Didn't expect to see you here. Where's mum and dad? I hope they're doing okay. Once I get my tax return sorted, I can get them to stop stressing for a few months. Can you hold Maddie for me? Thanks. Just keep a firm hold of her. You're doing fine. She's getting better. I'm relieved that I don't need to keep her in an incubator, but I do need to keep everything in the house sterilized and because the poor thing's invulnerable to infection. Aren't you, little miss? So how about you? How's your studies going? And? Dropping out. You're fucking kidding me, right? Why don't you say that in front of mum and dad and see how shit hits the fan then? A future that has your own fucking, your na own name headlining your own fucking obituary.
a mosquito bite in the middle of August. Just give it to me straight, Louise, right now. That may be, but you've got to remember that mum and dad have always been optimistic. And you should be too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry is not going to make you feel comfortable. Mum and dad are working hard to pay off their debts and the harder they work, the closer they are to being financially secure. Didn't expect to see you here. Where's mum and dad? Oh. Well, I hope they're doing okay. Once I get my tax return, I'm hoping to be able to help them out a little bit and help them stop stressing for a few months. Can you come hold Maddie for me? Thanks. Just keep a firm hold of her. You're doing great. Okay. Oh, she's getting better. Like, I feel I'm relieved that I don't need to keep her in an incubator anymore, but I have to keep sterilising everything around the house because the poor little thing keeps getting infections. Don't you, little miss? How about you? How's your studies going? Well, I've had a And? Are you fucking kidding me? Why don't you say that in front of mum and dad and then see how shit hits the fans? What, a future that has your own name on your own fucking obituary? Oh, a mosquito bite in the middle of August. Just give it to me straight, Louise. Right now. That may be, but you've got to remember that mum and dad have always been optimistic, and you should be too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry is going to achieve nothing and not going to make you feel comfortable. Mum and Dad are working hard to settle their debts, and the harder they work, the closer they are to being financially secure. Here you go, you did the line the slow way, all you want. My mind's made up, but don't worry. When I'm living in the world of limousines, private jets, and luxury yachts, I'll remember seeing the first cars through my name. Hi, my name is Sabrina Brandon. Um, my age range, well, I'm 25, so I guess that could vary between 19 and 25. Um, and I'm freelance at the moment. Okay. And Ash? Oh, didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> so, where's mum and dad? I hope they're okay. Once I get my tax return approved, I can get them to stop stressing for a few months. Can you hold Maddie for me? Thanks. <laughs> Just keep a firm hold on her and you're doing fine. She's getting better. I'm just relieved I don't have to keep her in an incubator. But I do need to keep everything in the house sterilised because, well, she's prone to infection. Aren't you, little miss? So how about you? How's your studies going? Well, And? Dropping out. You're fucking kidding me, right? 
Why don't you say that in front of mum and dad and see how hard this shit hits the fan? A future that involves your name headlining your own fucking obituary. A mosquito bite in the middle of August? Just give it to me straight, Louise. Right now. That may be. But you got to remember that mum and dad have always been optimistic and you should too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry is not going to make you feel comfortable. Mum and Dad are working hard to clear their debts with the bank and the harder they work, the closer they are to being financially secure. Didn't expect to see you here. Of course, not some demoness can take a shot. So where's mum and dad? They had to go to the bank to settle the student mortgage. I hope they're doing okay. Once I get my tax return approved, I can get them to stop stressing and at least for a few months. Can you hold Maddie for me? Thanks. Just keep a firm hold of her. You're doing fine. She's getting better. I feel relieved that I don't need to keep her in an incubator, but I do need to keep everything in the house sterilized because the poor thing, she's vulnerable to infection. Aren't she a little miss? So, how about you? How's your studies going? Well, I did change the thought about it. And? I'm simply dropping out. Dropping out? You're fucking kidding me. Why don't you say that in front of mum and dad and see how hard the shit hits the fan? future that involves your name headlining your own fucking obituary. A mosquito bite in the middle of August. Oh, just give it to me straight, Louise. Right now. Maybe, but you got to remember that mum and dad have always been optimistic and you should too. Farming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry is not going to make you feel comfortable. Mum and dad are working hard towards selling their debts with the bank. And the harder they work, the closer they are to being financially secure. Monk, and this is my audition for Courtney. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I promise you, I'm not some demoness timing coming to steal a child. So, where's mum and dad? They had to go to the bank this morning to settle a dispute on their mortgage. I hope they're doing okay. Once I get my tax return approved, I can be able to help them out for a few months. Hey, can you come here and hold Maddie for a second? Thanks. What 
do I do now? Just told her family, you're doing great. How's Maddie doing? She's doing better. I'm glad I don't have to keep her in an incubator, but I have to sterilize the whole house because she's prone for infection. Aren't you a little miss? <laughs> so what about you? How's the studies? Well, I had a change of thought lately. And? Thinking of dropping out. Dropping out? You're fucking kidding me, right? Tell that to Mum and Dad and hear shit hit the fan. They don't have to know. Besides, I've got my own plans for the future. That doesn't involve wearing ugly white shoes and scrubs. A future where your own name headlines your fucking obituary? It's not just what you think. It's just mosquito bite. I got it the other day. A mosquito bite? In the middle of August? For God's sakes, Louise, just tell it to me how it is. Right now! Okay, you know what? I don't like this life. Mum and Dad worked their whole lives and it's left them with nothing. That may be true, but Mum and Dad have always been optimistic. And you should too. Harming yourself out to every Tom, Dick and Harry is not going to help you, Louise. It's not going to make you comfortable. And Mum and Dad are working really hard to settle their debts with the bank. And the harder they work, the more financially secure they become. How about you go ahead and let, live a life in the slow lane yeah, that you want? My mind is made up, but don't worry. When I'm living in a world of limousines, private jets and luxury yachts, I'll remember to send you a postcard to remind you how wrong you were. Tell Mum and Dad not to worry about the graduation present. It's probably going to be a cheap manicure anyway.